Okay, we are ready for some serious holiday fun. Now this is, pumpkin is going to be more of a Thanksgiving theme than a you know Halloween type theme. Pumpkins are great for the harvest also. So I have some burlap. I've cut a piece to fit on the bottom of my pumpkin. I've got some lovely yarn. I had two skeins. I put one in a roll to make it easier to work. I've got some lovely ribbons to work with. I've got all of my fancy tools and my heat gun and my little silicone brush to keep me from burning my fingers off. I found this wonderful metal word, thankful. I've got a whole batch of florals and leaves and I've got these gorgeous glittery leaves. I may throw one or two in. I've got some ears of corn. So we're just going to have a whole lot of fun. So we're going to start by attaching this fabric to our frame. So first I'm going to cut some slots where these bars are on the bottom half. I'm just gonna start gluing it down one section at a time. I'm going to start from gluing from the top and then we'll glue it from the bottom. Once I get it anchored a little bit, it'll be easier to bring it up and over. Anchor this end a little. Get a couple of them anchored and then it's easier to move forward because then I can flip it over once I've got a couple anchored down. We've got our backing on. We're ready to do these bars here with our yarn. And what we're going to do is begin by putting a simple cross under and pull on here, sliding it way down. piece of glue down here at the bottom. And we're going to slide that down into it to anchor that yarn. I'm going to give that a second to, to do its thing. Cut off a little of this excess. And we're going to wrap. We're going to give ourselves a little glue near the beginning to help ensure that the, the yarn stays where we want it. I'm going to wrap around a couple times and pull it tight and push it down into that glue. And we're going to just wrap. Wrap and wrap and wrap. And every now and then you're going to want to put a glue dot to help anchor as you go. So after you get a batch on, you scrunch it down. And put your next glue dot. Just to block that spot. Some wraps, squish them down into that glue. 
And again, when you get down to the end, I'm going to cut myself off a bit. I'm going to add a wee bit more. And then again, I'm going to make a loop to tie it down here at the end. And then we're going to put a glue in there. Okay, that's one. I'll be back when all the rest are done. Okay, now that those are all nicely wrapped, and I'll worry about that guy later, we're going to start building all of our things. So it's always good to sort of lay out how you want things ahead of time. Um, we're going to sort of work at it slowly and put things sort of where I want them. And then I'm going to cut some of these things to fit. I'm going to have this little green block that I'm going to set in there to attach things to. Okay, I've prepped some of my flowers and things. I trimmed my little uh, green foam block a bit, and I'm going to glue that down where I want it. A lot, a lot of glue, because so I really want it to stay where I put it. It's just going to be right in the center, right there. I'm even going to put some glue here and here ensure that that stays right where I want it. Okay. I'm going to sort of work from the outside in, I think, with things. so far. Okay, now we're going to put this to the side and work on our bow and our stem up top here. So turn that around. And I'm going to do a quick wrap on this stem. Okay, now that I've got it all wrapped, I'm going to cut off all this excess. I'm going to tie a little loop here. Pull to the back. We're going to glue that down. Okay, now we're going to make our bow. Want a nice, pretty bow. I love this. Look at this with the gnomes. Oh, I couldn't resist. handy dandy stapler. We're going to put 118 of that and 118 of this off to the side. We're going to put our ends together and staple. Alright, so you're going to put your largest one. You're going to put some glue right there in the center. Take our 
smallest then. And you want to make sure when you're doing your smallest that you are not gluing the top down, only the bottom. And we'll fluff it all up. It looks all flat now, but when we're all done, we will fluff it all up. And we're gonna work on our tails. a different type of bow it would have made it easy to put a twist tie in the middle. Okay, I've attached with a stapler a twist tie in the middle of my bow and that way I can now use my twist tie and tie my bow. I can do a little more fluff. Now we're going to dovetail off these ends, and I think I want them to come to about here. Let me do a little more fluffing, and then, oh wait, no, we have one more thing. I forgot my thankful sign. I think I'm going to try and put my thankful sign. Get my tails out of the way for a minute. I'm just going to attach it right. There. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, let me do a little more fluffing and then I'll give you the final results. Okay, we have the final results. Now I did add a little bit more leafage down here at the bottom to cover up that green block. There's my thankful sign. I've got my little feathery things, my maple leaves coming out the sides. I've got my beautiful sunflowers and my corn and all that stuff that's on the middle my beautiful bow with my little gnomes up top. Oh, so happy. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for more videos. Thank you so much for joining me. Now this is part of our Friday with Friends, so please follow along the playlist. Next up is Janet with Acrylic Creations by Jay Witte, followed by our special guest tonight, Michelle from Phoenix Flow Art, and then Betty from Oak by Bettina.